So this is the Western Treatment Plant, just on the outskirts of Melbourne. Okay, so Melbourne's a large city, 3.8 million people, and half of the wastewater collected from Melbournians ends uh, down here near Werribee. This is a, a really large site. It's run by Melbourne Water, and they treat half the city's uh, sewage uh, at this site. It's a very large one, as I said. Lots of open ponds, which are used to treat the effluent. The water in the ponds in this part of the Western Treatment Plant is uh, rich in nitrates. They don't want to release that water into Port Phillip, uh, the, which is the water right here, because it's going to encourage algal blooms, and it's going to be unhealthy for people who use that water. There's planting, so the, the, the plants can help to absorb some of that, and there's a real diversity of invertebrate life. A result of that <laughs> is that it's a mecca for birds, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, you can always spot the bird watcher. This, as it turns out, is possibly Australia's second most diverse birding hotspot. First one would probably be Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory. So down here at the Werribee Poo Farm, as they might more politely call it, we get an amazing diversity of waterfowl and wading shorebirds. And the wading shorebirds are the really fascinating ones because in summer, this time of year, we get birds that have migrated all the way from Siberia and Alaska. They've come all the way down here, there's thousands of kilometers. So they nest and raise their young up there in the Northern Hemisphere. And in their winter, they come down for our summer down here. They, sp they spread out in a variety of sites, but this one's a really major site. So it's a really fantastic place to explore. An amazing diversity of birds. Uh, it's really interesting plant life as well. It's a really huge site. People from Melbourne probably don't even realise that it's here because it's largely closed to the public. Bird watches are really well supported by Melbourne Water. Uh, uh, it's closed with a key, but uh, for a fee and you know you do a, a safety and health registration. Uh, bird watches are actually allowed to come and uh, respectfully uh, use the site to uh, to observe uh, birds of interest and. Um, if you ever have a chance to come and visit the uh, Western Treatment Plant outside of Werribee, highly recommend it. Bring these.